So today I thought I would share with y'all some new favorites. Woo! We'll call this, no, what is this, June favorites? Because when this video goes up, it will be the end of June. <laughs> Just about, very close, very close to the end of June. Let me address this. I've got a line right here on my face. Can y'all see that? And it's, I slept. I woke up with it there, and I guess it's from my pillowcase or something. But we'll start with skincare. I have a new skincare that I've been using, and it's from I Do Care. The Thirst Things First. It's a vitamin C spray, and it goes on your face. And I Do Care is cruelty-free, Korean brand, and it is, it's a dewy, just one spritz, and it's very refreshing, bi-phase mist mask. It's water-based. And it has vitamin C pomegranate extract, rising layer made with lemon peel oil. So you can see it inside there. You've got two layers. So when you use it, you definitely want to shake it up. And I use this every morning and every night. Like I'll get up, wash my face, and then I spritz this on my face. You'll feel like you want to spritz it numerous times because you keep thinking, I don't have enough on my skin. Really, it only needs like one spritz. And then at night, after I wash my face, I spritz this on my face again, and then I finish out with my rest of my skincare. The reason that I love this so much is that my skin's become super sensitive. It reacts to everything now. I have to be very careful when it comes to skincare on my face. Because I do want to have a vitamin C on my skin, I was using the Timeless. And y'all may remember when I purchased this, I said I'd come back and talk about it. And I used Timeless. I used it for several years in a row. Never had any trouble. But I was way younger. <laughs> now I'm way older. And I started reacting to it. I'm so careful with it. But I'll wake up and I'll be broke out. But so far, I haven't reacted to the one from I Do Care. I don't want to spray this on my face right now because I have makeup on. But I'll show you when you get ready to use it. Shake it up because you want to mix the water in with the product. And I want to show you how light the mist is. That's it very light and i'm not smelling anything myself but this has made me very happy because it is a vitamin c and i'm getting that on my face which is what i want and i'm not reacting to it and it's so easy to use i'm gonna stay with skincare and that's because i have another new product now forever and ever and ever i used the a313 i have videos on this and this was my retinol that i was using and I stopped using it, and you can see it's basically empty, but that one's from a French pharmacy. It's a little bit harder to get. It takes the shipping is a little bit longer, because I actually ordered that out of France. I wanted to get something that was a little easier to get, so I got the one from pharmacy. This is a 1% vitamin A retinol serum. It firms and fights wrinkles. Pharmacy is like a clean brand. The retinol in this is encapsulated, and so it has like a release overnight. So it's more gentle than if you went on your skin with just a pure retinol. With it being encapsulated, it has a slower release over your skin, so you have, you're less likely to have like a reaction to it. As you age, you know your skin's not going to turn over as much, and then that dead skin hanging on your skin, which makes your skin not look as good as it could look if you got rid of that. That's what this does. It helps your skin turn over. And this is what I've been using. And it's gentle enough that you can use it every day. And it's a pump. This is what it looks like. I'm going to pump a tiny bit out because I don't want to waste it. It's a white cream like that. And when it blends in, when you massage it in, it's, it just disappears. And then I still do go over it at night with a moisturizer. So this is a new favorite for the month of June. And I hope for a long, long time, <laughs> I hope I don't start reacting to it. And if I do, I'll come back and I will let y'all know. Y'all saw me pull out my reading glasses. And that's these a pair that I have. And that's what these look like. These are just regular reading glasses. But these are my favorite. These and others are my favorite. And I wanted to include them because I wear these a lot, like on Instagram, and people ask me, where did you get your glasses? I get all my reading glasses from Effie Optical Eyewear. You can order them online. And I want to show you the different pair that I have. Every pair <laughs> is from Effie. I also have this pair 
This is my favorite shape of like reading glasses. These are pink and I have a blue pair too, but I don't have the blue pair at home. I have the blue pair is at work sitting on my desk and I actually have a pair of these everywhere. I have a pair upstairs next to where I watch TV and then I have a pair on my desk at work. I have a pair next to where I do my morning reading. I have a pair in my purse. I have them everywhere and I still lose them. <laughs> and then y'all saw the brown pair. So these are, these are the same. And I recently got like another three pair and this was the case that they came in. This is good if you're traveling or if you carry like a, a, a big handbag and I don't. So this doesn't work for me to put this in my handbag, but it does work like I'll take it out and and I'll take out like the little bag. And one of these, I don't remember which one, this is a set of three, came in, the, came in this set and you can put that in and carry it in your handbag. And also the bags will work as a, to clean, to like clean your glasses. But when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So you have a set of three glasses in there and the other pairs that I have in here one pair, these these are some that I've not worn or not tried yet. So this one still has the sticker on it, plus 1.25. This is this pair. The, this particular pair I like because it has bifocals at the bottom. So when you look out the top, it's just normal. But when you look out the bottom, then you have your reading. So these are really cute. I just haven't pulled them out yet. I haven't needed them yet to pull them out and park them somewhere in my house. Oh, I have a pair up here too <laughs> in my in my makeup area. And then I have this pair, which is just like the pair I just showed you, except these do not have the bifocals and they're, so the whole glass is the, um, what does it say, 1.25. That's that pair. I think they're, really, really cute, really stylish, and not real expensive. They run specials all the time, and where you buy three pair, you get this, you know, they'll give you a discount and stuff. My doctor told me that I would lose vision in the reading eye. It would get weaker, strictly due to age. And that's starting to happen, and she told me, in your 60s and I'm in my 60s and it's happening. <laughs> so I have to have glasses now to see close up. If you're like me and you have to have glasses to see close up and you want some really cute ones, check out Epi Eyewear. I'm very happy with these. Now let's talk a little bit about makeup. I have some new favorite makeup items. I started using the L'Oreal BB Magic Beautifier Cream for anti-redness. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever honestly, for years, I've used this one. And this one will give your skin a little bit of a, a tint. And you can actually wear this as a foundation if you don't like a lot of makeup. And it just gives you a little bit of a tint. But I, I saw this one and I decided to try it. And I, I actually like it better than the other one. And what this does is it cancels out any redness that you have on your face, whether it be a pimple or some rosacea, or like me, I will get like redness under my eyes in the morning. It has a little applicator like that, and it just squeezes out. I put some on the back of my hand so that you can see it. And it's, a, it's not real thick. That's what it looks like when it goes on your skin. So it goes on your skin green but you need green to cancel out red. And then when you blend it out, it does give your skin a little bit of a tint, not as much tint as that other one, but it will cancel out the red. And you can wear this as a foundation if you want to, just like this one. I will come back and I've been planning on doing this. I just haven't got to it yet. But I will come back and I will do a video with this so you can see what it looks like. And I do have this on today. I put this on before I put my foundation on and it covered up the red. 
drugstore find, very inexpensive, and it's definitely a favorite. I've been so happy with the L'Oreal BB Cream. I'm gonna include something that I had in a recent video. It may have been in my last video. It's an eyeliner, it's from LA Colors, and I have this on my eyes today. Such a beautiful color. It is like a, it's not really green and it's not blue. It is a, just a beautiful color. That's the way I know how to describe it. It's so pretty. What I like to do with this, well, the different ways that I use it, is sometimes I'll take it and put it all the way across the top of my eyes. And then sometimes, like today, I only have it like in one little spot, like right there. It's such a unique pop of color, especially if you have hooded eyes like I do, and your lower lids just disappear. You add just a tiny bit, it doesn't have to be all the way across, just a dot of color, it'll make your eyes pop. And it's so much so, even my husband noticed We it. were having lunch one day, and he looked over and he looked at my eyes. He said, your eyes look so pretty. And he said, you put that one little dot there in it. And he said, it just looks so pretty. Another thing I like to do is take it and just put a little tiny, tiny bit in the corner of my eye and it'll go on and it'll really show. So I'll take a Q-tip and I'll just kind of blend it just a little bit so it, I don't look weird. <laughs> I just had that little bit of smudge of blue and it'll stay. It's not gonna budge. This is very inexpensive uh, and they do have some other colors. I have two new eyeshadow palettes and one of these I did show y'all recently, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my glasses on. <laughs> R-E-M Beauty and this is, I believe it's Smitten Kitten smitten kitten and i have promised that i am going to come back and do a, a eyeshadow tutorial with this this is a new favorite eyeshadow palette and the colors are so pretty and i used to be like afraid of of like shimmers and stuff because i didn't want it to get in the crease of my eye and then make my wrinkles on my eyes look worse I do it anyway. I do it anyway. And I'm happy. I don't care if my wrinkles look worse. I really don't. I like the color. So I'm using more of like shimmery colors. This is a really pretty one. And I will come back and we'll talk about this some more. But I wanted to mention this because it's new and it is a favorite. And I haven't really given it a good review. And then I have another new eyeshadow palette. I just picked this one up. This came about... I'm going to blame Dawn from, from Dawn's life for this one. And that's a, a whole conversation that we had. We go into Marshall's quite a bit. And I had been in mine and she'd been in hers. And anyway, she told me that she had been in hers and that they had all these Morphe palettes. And I said, well, I've been seeing those. I went back to my Marshall's and I went to the trouble to like look at them because there was a lot. I picked up this one, and it's the Painted Desert Palette. This is actually what I have on today. This is what's on my eyes today, and I think it's really, really pretty. That's the colors. As soon as I saw this color, this color, and this color, I knew that I had to have this palette. It was very inexpensive. They go on really good, they go on really smooth, and when you do have crepey eyelids, you need an eyeshadow that you're not gonna have to fight with. Definitely don't have to fight with this. And just like that other palette from REM, I'll do an eyeshadow look with this one so you can see how good that it works. I have a new favorite lipstick. I have shared this. Well, I've had it on in videos recently when I've done makeup, a makeup tutorial. And then I've shown it on Instagram a couple of different times. But it's a new favorite and it is what I have on today. It is from Wet n Wild. The color is Think Pink. Just wanted to do a quick mention of it because it is a drugstore, very inexpensive. This is the color. It's beautiful. This is what it looks like on my, my skin. And it is uh, matte. It's a matte lipstick. I'm gonna put some more on. So 
So now I have one everywhere because it is very inexpensive. I have one in my purse, one at work, and one here on my makeup table. If I buy multiples of something so I can have it everywhere, then it's a true love. This is a new true love. I have a new self tanner that's a new favorite. I do self tan my arms and my neck year round, but I don't self tan my legs year round because I'm gonna wear jeans or pants. But in the summer, I, I tan my arms everywhere that I can reach. And I want to, I wear a lot of dresses in the summer because where I live, it's really hot. So I've got this one. It's from St. Tropez. I've used many of the St. Tropez products. This is a new one and it's a foam. It's, I have one that's a foam, but this one, I don't know how or why it's different. And it comes, I'm gonna show you the clean side. It came with a mitt. If you don't have a mitt to put your self tanner on, get you a mitt. I've always just used like disposable gloves get a mitt. And this one's like, it feels like velvety. It's very soft and it just smooths out real quick. But I will do, I'll do one of my arms sitting here. So I always shake it up and it doesn't take very much and it can get away from you. So when you, when you spray it or pump it out, whatever, <laughs> be, go easy. So what I do is I, I'll just do a little tiny bit because it's gonna expand. It's it's a mousse. It's like a mousse. That's the word I'm looking for. And then I'll just do it on my arms. And normally, no, I would not have my shirt on, but this is for y'all, <laughs> this is for y'all. So you can see now the color on my arm and in relation to the color that I don't have on this arm. And that's because I have not tanned in several days. But what I like about this self tanner is that with some self tanners, when you put them on and you've worn them for like two or three days and they start breaking down on your skin, your skin takes on a weird look. It's, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but it, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it just looks weird. It's like it breaks down on your skin and it kind of starts looking cracked or something. Like, I don't know, it's weird. This does not do that. It just wears off, but it doesn't wear off in a weird way. And it instantly gives you color, like you're not waiting for it to get dark, but it will get darker throughout the day. And especially after you shower, like I'll put it on in the morning and go to work and then come home and shower and it doesn't wash off and I'll even look a little bit darker. St. Tropez has never disappointed me. And as I said, I've used many of their tanners and I've always been happy, but this is my favorite right now. And I love my mitt. And I don't know if you can wash these. If you know, let me know. I guess I should have read the box, which I threw away and I did not. So if you know if I can throw this in the washing machine, let me know below. I could go read on the website, it'll probably tell me. And that's everything. And I really appreciate you spending time with me today. It means a lot to me. And I hope everybody's doing well and staying cool because it's really hot here. But if you have any comments or questions, you know, you can leave it in the comment box below and I'll get back to you. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified of when I do have new videos up. And I guess that's it. I'll see y'all next time.